Consider the following tables T1 and T2. In table T1, P is the primary key and Q is the foreign key referencing R in table T2 with on delete cascade and on update cascade. In table T2, R is the primary key and S is the foreign key referencing P in table 1 with on delete set null and on update cascade. In order to delete the record 38 from table T1, the number of additional records that need to be deleted from table T1 is dash. So this is a question from DBMS topic regarding referential integrity. So let us look at the constraints. Q is the foreign key referencing R in table T2. So Q is a foreign key that is referencing R in T2 and it is saying on delete cascade on update cascade meaning if something in T2 is deleted from here we need to cascade the deletes. So let us say uh, if you are deleting row 3 2 from table t2 then we will need to delete whoever is referencing 3 so for example 7 3 is referencing 3 here so 7 3 will have to be deleted in such a case that is called on delete cascade on update cascade means whenever something is updated here that update also has to be cascaded here now the other constraint is r is the primary key and s is the foreign key referencing p in table t1 so this is also a foreign key that is referencing p in table t1 and it says on delete set null and on update cascade which means that whenever something in t1 is deleted whoever is referen referencing that p value in table t2 that also should be deleted so meaning so that should be set null i'm sorry on delete set null okay so if i'm deleting 2 2 let us say so whoever is referencing 2 here, see S is referencing P column here. So whoever is referencing 2 here, now that is this row only. 2, 2 is referencing 2 here. That row S value should be set null. That is called on delete set null. So with this information, let us look at the question. In order to delete record 38 from the table, the number of additional records that need to be deleted from the table T1 is. So we are deleting this column 38. So if you look at this here, this column is referencing 3. 3 is coming from P here. And the constraint is on delete set null. Meaning this 3 we need to set as null now. And that's it. Nothing more is deleted. Nothing more is getting deleted from this table. If you look at this row, R value is 8. And there are more rows referencing 8. But here we are not deleting this. We are only setting this value as null. So there are no more deletes required from this table. If it was on delete cascade, then we would have had to delete this row. In that case, 8 would be gone. And whoever is referencing 8 would also have to be deleted. But it was on delete set null. So we'll just set it as null. And that is all the operations required. So the answer is 0.